here as well, uh, Adam's shown us a new product. This is the replacement front disc for M2, M3 and M4 two-piece uh, floating disc. He's given me a load of technical information that I will remember. But first of all, <laughs> he's going to go through and explain it all to you like, a lot better than what I could do. So, talk us about this new product. Yes, yeah, so this is a brand new product Actually, we're about to introduce that this week. Um, I just wanted to show you another disc really, this is what we call a pin drive disc, obviously you can see this isn't from a BMW, you can probably tell where it's coming from with the profile slots. Um, the main thing I wanted to show you is this is quite a common OEM disc design, so what you've got here, you've got a cast iron friction ring, you've got several uh, stainless steel pins, probably easier if I show you around the back, you can see several stainless steel drive pins, so the way they do is they cast the cast iron, they semi-machine this, they then put all the pins in, right. and then finally they cast, they overcast the aluminium bell. Now, it, it's, a, it's a nice lightweight solution for a disc because obviously you're using aluminium for the bell, not steel, um, so it does reduce the weight of the disc quite considerably, but the problem that we find with these sort of discs is because you've got a um, pin going into a very close fitting hole, um, after a couple of thousand miles, especially with road grime and corrosion, the pin starts to push all that muck into the hole and, and, and then effect, um, essentially it rusts in the hole and it oh, binds, cool. binds up the disc. Right. So, this, so we call this disc, oh, well, I call it semi-floating, EDC call it semi-floating. Okay. Um, so I, it has got some float, but it's not, um, it's not a robust, uh, fully floating uh, bobbin kind of system. So the main change that we've got on our disc here compared to these, we. On, on this M2 and M3 and M4 disc, uh, it's a 380 by, I'll, put, I'll show you around the back first. It's a 380 by 30, so it fits seamlessly with the original caliper. Yeah. It's just a bolt on, bolt off disc, so literally just take the original one off and put this one on. No modifications, no spaces, no nothing. Um, just aligns perfectly down the middle of the caliper like the original disc would do. Um, the main difference is you can see these, uh, what we call bobbins here. So we've got stainless steel, they're machined from a single piece of stainless steel. Uh, and they engage with elongated slots. So the nice thing about this is it allows your outside and the inside of your disc to exp uh, the outside to expand and contract independently of the hub. Um, and obviously this bobbin moving up and down this slot, it's a self-cleaning function. So it's actually always moving any debris or any muck um, that, that, gets that, that gets stuck in there. Yeah. yeah, whereas this has got something, you know, for want of a better <laughs> analogy, putting, pushing muck into a hole, this yeah. is a slot. Okay. Um, so it continues to float for the whole life of the disc, um, which is a benefit for guys, especially driving hard, especially guys driving on track, because lots of people find that using the original disc driving on track, you get it all the time, people complaining about warping, um, they, they complain about cracking. The other thing you'll notice with these discs is actually that they're drilled all the way through, yeah. and our disc, they're not, we just groove the surface, so we allow the gases to escape without actually compromising the um, strength of the disc by drilling all the way through it. Yeah, again, you'll see a lot of these that will get very full up with the crud and the pad it, yeah. and then causes cracking because like you say it expands. Yeah, it rusts in there, it expands yeah. and then obviously um, then, then I mean if that, if that hole is packed full of rusted um, pad material then again it's not serving its function because it's not allowing the gases to escape when right. you really start to push the pads hard. Um, the other thing is kind of like the um, the, the, the BMW we were just looking at, the 135, all of our disc rings use 48 curved vanes. And if you look at any um, high quality race ring, they'll yeah. all be using curved vanes and simply because it's more effective at dissipating heat. So all of our discs um, use curved vanes and they're handed as well. So there's a left hand disc and a right hand disc. So the, so the curved vanes are always rotating in the right direction. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's our new products. That's gonna be coming out for the M2. M3 and M4 fairly soon. Um, we're working on a rear disc at the moment, but fronts is what we've got uh, for now, yeah. rears in a couple of months. We'll get these on the website and we'll have information about how much they are and fitting costs down below as well. We'll put a link down. As long as they're out. They, yeah, that's good. They tend, to, they tend to work out a little bit more than the OE disc, but the main thing is that longevity, and especially if you're working on track, because you're just gonna, you're gonna you're, it's, not, it's not gonna crack, it's not gonna warp. Yeah. You can really push it hard. I mean, we've been running these on our Nissan GTR development vehicle. We've got a set um, of discs on the front of that. It's done, it's done nearly a dozen track days. It's done, I think it's 10 or 11 track days now. Really pushing hard. We regularly see front disc temps of like 720 degrees C on that car. Really? It's a real brute, the GTR, real brake killer. And you can, we can maybe go and have a look in a minute. I mean, you have a look at the disc and there's no signs of cracking. Oh, really? There's no signs of any anything that would concern you or suggest that the disc needs changing. So 
which is completely opposite to some of these pen drive discs that we see where you know people do two or three track days and the disc starts well, to We've started to see a lot of people now, the M3s and M4s are coming down in price, mid 20s to late 30s, to early 30s should I say, that are fine for track toys as well. Absolutely, so it it's a tunable car. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, But it's a heavy car and it puts a lot of strain on the brakes and that's kind of why you know it needs a really high performance disc which is there are other options out there. Um, EBC, we, we've actually got all of, the, all of that tech of some of the other guys that we're competing against, but at a price point that's a bit more attractive to the customer as well. So it's a, it's a, good, it's a good balance between ultimate performance and actually not, not, not that much more than um, the OE disc. Okay. So, yeah. Brilliant.